Hey guys, Utah Steve back for another outdoor adventure. Uh, my last one didn't turn out so great. Um, the desert was amazing and beautiful, but we weren't there all that long. As you saw, there were a lot of crowds. And as wonderful as it is to see people actually getting out and doing something, um, they're feeling so cooped up that they're like practically begging to get into the outdoors. I think that's wonderful. I've always encouraged that. I still do. But people aren't really being, keeping their distance like they should. Or, you know, what's funny about this is before the pandemic we have going on, um, people kept their distance anyway. There were less people in the parking lots, less people in the campgrounds and trail, not, not the official campgrounds, but like primitive camping type thing. Um, you you didn't get up close and personal with people before all of this now it's almost like you have to look for somewhere to go to get some space between people i just drove to the top of my neighborhood where there's a trailhead that goes up into a beautiful canyon it goes off actually several different directions and the parking lot is small and much like my last video of the spiral jetty it's a small dead end at the top of my neighborhood and there's always 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 somewhere to park nobody bothers you you're not right next to anybody and you hike at your leisure and just say hi to your neighbor as they walk by um i just went there thinking i would hike there and it's a beautiful sunday today so uh, maybe it's my choice of day as well, but the I have never seen the parking lot overflowing down into the neighborhood. People were parked down the street a couple of blocks from the trailhead and hiking up to the trailhead to start their hike. So I've driven a little further into the neighborhood to a lesser known spot, and I think I found the sweet spot. This is a... Uh, a park okay there's a huge park here called Mount Ogden Park and next to it adjacent connected to it part of it is another park so basically it's all one park but for some reason they've named this little section of the park a separate name and I, the reason I'm not saying the name is because I have to show you the sign and try my best to just butcher it which won't be hard to do it's a, I don't know how you say the name. So basically right now I am in that park. Now we're not hiking in a park. The thing is we're close to the mountains. You can see right there the mountain. This is the park here. You can see I have a truck next to me and a van on the other side. And that is all there is in this parking lot. It's kind of a cool thing to, to come across in this current time period. That we're going through there's a trail here called gibbs loop and it goes around a big golf course back here it kind of goes up into some wildflowers and trees i've hiked it before it's more of a leisurely stroll it doesn't have an elevation gain i think it's just completely flat it's more of a family friendly hike however you hike to another trailhead that's probably packed with people i don't know um, and then it goes up into an area called Strong's Canyon and the hike is listed as hard So I'm hoping that it's discouraging to people um, I'm not going to hike all the way up the trail into the canyon to to uh, See where it ends or anything like that. What I'm looking for today is just some solitude in nature and to have some lunch so that's our plan today Let's uh, get our eyes on and get our pack on. We're ready to go. I have an MRE with me. I, I'm going to try out that I've never had before. And we're going to just take in some of the sights and sounds of Mother Nature today. And uh, you should come along with me. Let's go look at that sign. You'll see why I have such a hard time with the name of this park. So here's what I'm talking about. Over that little hump right there. That whole area is a huge vast park well it all connects 
So technically it's one big park, and as you can see, it's really not crowded here, surprisingly. Welcome, my friends, to Marquardt Park. <laughs> I have no idea how you say that. Marquard? Mark? Uh, yeah, Farquhar. Who knows? Anyway, that's the name of this particular section of the park. Up in there is the golf course. Our trail runs. My car's here. Our trail runs up there. And it kind of goes up around the golf course. But we're going up into one of those canyons. Strong's Canyon. So, yeah, there you go. Whatever this park is called, that's our starting point. As you can see, it is fairly well wooded. But it's deceiving because there is a park just right next to this trail. But it is quite beautiful, isn't it? And so free of people. I have a hammock in my pack. I'm hoping to find somewhere to hang. It would be awesome to find an isolated spot that I could just swing easy in the breeze and <sighs> enjoy a lunch. Look at these. So this is the golf course up in here and our trail continues on this way. There's some houses along here. But we'll eventually get away from those. Kind of out of breath, I just went up a little bit of a steep hill. But most of this trail should be flat. In a few minutes, anyway. And also, another good thing about this trail most of it is shady. Is my face focusing? Yeah. First part of it is uphill, and then it just levels out. But I'll tell you, the little bit of uphill there is, it's pretty, pretty intense, pretty quickly. Whew. Here the trail is opened up and flattened out. Somebody just hit a golf ball right up in there. Could have killed me, man. Okay, after our brief little jaunt through the woods, this is the Strong's Canyon Trailhead, also known as the 36th Street Trailhead. There's actually places to park here. Not nearly as crowded as it is in my neck of the woods. So we can get to Waterfall Canyon this way as well. which is an ordeal in and of itself. And I guarantee you this one is packed with people. There's a huge waterfall at the top. I've been there before. I'll put a link down in my uh, description for my Waterfall Canyon trip. But I've never done this, Strong Canyon. I thought it was Strong's Canyon, but it's actually S Strong Canyon. Half mile long trail is all. Follow Strong Creek, follow the Mount Ogden Exercise Trail. So hopefully this isn't some doofy exercise trail. <laughs> I don't know anything about it, but it says it's 
it's okay for hikers and mountain bikers easy to moderate allow one hour round trip what we're looking for mostly is somewhere to hang and relax I want to do more of that than I want to do hiking to be honest oh, somebody's missing their dog husky lost it here that's sad that's rough get it rough let's see what this says discovery loop this might be a good good uh, hike to take my kids on if it's not too difficult there are ants there are jackrabbits there's oak there are rivers and streams and trails and views there's solar energy available up here did you know that guys <laughs> courtesy of the Sun they act like they're taking credit stream ecology desert ecology um, we this is something we need to watch out for right here it is rattlesnake season they're coming out onto the trails to warm themselves it's a 70 plus degree day today next week is supposed to get into the 80s and the reptiles love to come out and warm themselves in this weather. So it's just something to be aware of. There's a spider web across my lens. Where do I go, guys? Further up there. Back that way. This is just a loop that connects from down there. We're gonna keep going up Strong's Canyon. So in hiking along this creek here in Strong's Canyon, I noticed this over here. Check it out.
That, my friends, is an upside down car from a long time ago. Let's go check it out. We'll have to cross this, but it's not too bad. That's really cool. Look at that. Got the uh, door handles still in place. This is a very old car. Came down obviously from that cliff up there. If anyone watching this knows the history of this, I'd love to know. Was it a fatality? Was it a stolen car? Is, is there a road up there? I don't think there is, but maybe there used to be. Here's a look inside. And another one. I won't know what it looks like in there until I edit video. It's so small, I would have to get down on my belly and crawl through the door. And I really don't want to do that because of rattlesnakes. You never know. Let's see if there's some kind of marking what kind of car this is. Uh, here's the gas tank. Got to squeeze through some brush. Oh, look at those tail lights. 1950s, maybe 60s. Been shot up quite a bit. Wow. This is epic. I wonder if the this has been stripped for parts. I don't see a, a tag on it anywhere that says what kind of car it might be or who made it. Or I would look it up. Maybe some of you car aficionados out there know what this is. If so, please put it in the comments. This is fascinating. I'd love to know the history. Let's look at the front end. Bumper's still there. The headlights. So what I'm gonna do is take a bunch of pictures of this, throw it up on my Instagram page. The link for that is in the description below and uh, you can check it out yourself. And feel free to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> this is pretty cool. I'm deciding whether or not I want to eat lunch right here by the creek on top of an old epic piece of Americana. I hope nobody died in this wreck. If they tumbled down that cliff, I don't know how they could have survived landing upside down. You know what? There's a little alcove right over here. See that? I can't hang my hammock there, I don't think, unless I get lucky. But I could sit there and eat my lunch. This is probably a tourist magnet. I'm sure people will cross the stream. But I haven't seen too many people on this hike. 
I'm really enjoying this hike. This is a good one. You never know what you're going to find when you get out and explore. Very cool. Very cool. This is really rocky. Oh. Look at that. Parts of the car upholstery. Here's the cliff it would have come down. That's crazy. And here's our little alcove. This should do nicely for lunch. Yeah, there's nowhere really to hang my hammock. I could hang it from this tree here, but there's nowhere to attach it over here that's big or strong enough. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that greenery. The light's a lot better in the shade with this camera. I definitely have a lot to learn about it. Look at the moss overhang there. That's beautiful. All right, so this is lunch right here. I think I'll start with the M&M's just because I'm freaking starving. I'm so hungry, I'm shaky. See? Want some? Those, my friends, may be the best M&M's I've ever eaten. That's because I'm so hungry. Next up, pretzels. Now, if this is backwards, in my viewfinder, it looks backwards. If it's not, we got nothing to worry about. If it is, it's yet another setting I have to learn. Otherwise, I'm eating sluts syrup. Just plain pretzel sticks. Good stuff. If you want to know more of the details of this MRE, I've already posted a video about it. I'll put that down in the description too. So I came with this first strike energy bar. I, I don't, I'm gonna hold off on this in case I need it later. We're gonna get to our main course, which is chicken with buffalo style hot sauce on tortillas. Or if you're seeing this backwards, Solitter rot. Solitter rot. Okay. That's literally just plain white chicken. Like right out of the can type thing. It smells good though. I'm gonna use all the sauce. Another thing I realized I forgot, even though I talked about it in the video for this MRE, I forgot my spork. I have no way to stir this. So we have to get creative here. That's how we're stirring it. I'm gonna motion around, let it rock back and forth. Okay. That's what it looks like. And then this is just tortillas. Looks like we got two. Ooh. 
sucks not having my sport with me. But whatever, we'll make do. Ah, it's getting all over me. Okay. Making a big mess here. Hope I have something in here to clean up with. I kind of rushed out the door this morning, so I may not have everything I need. Okay, guys. Time to dig in. Mm-hmm. All right, super hot, super drippy. Just the way I like them. Mm. I gotta be careful, this is really watery. And it's just spilling everywhere. So a simple, delicious tortilla wrap. But incredibly messy. Look at that. All over the ground. And somewhat on my pants. Gotta, you know, lather myself up for the grizzly bears. So I just realized I can pour water into this bag and shake it up. And it's electrolyte powder and carbohydrate, which means I have sugar, which is what I need. Those wraps were delicious, by the way. I'm quite impressed. But they, oh God, what a mess they made. I made, what a mess I made. Right now I'm just getting out some, my roll pack here. As always, I carry it on a hike, on a backpacking trip, anytime I go out. This is first aid, this is fire, this is hygiene. Da -da -da -da. That is a moist towelette, or if it's backwards, it's a Edel Edel Siam. I'm glad I have this. I need to remember to keep these in my kit. It's the first time this has really come in handy. I wipe it off my pants, too. I must smell delicious right now. Woo! Okay. That's better. That's better. So, I got, got like one more towelette in here is all. And I have some at home. I need to restock this. Kind of handy. You just roll it up and throw it in your pack. It's by Osprey, by the way. Did a review on it ages ago. Good product. All right, let's put some water in this and have us a nice, tasty grape Gatorade. Or, or a Eparg Red Wop Eggerveb. Eggerveb. Electrolyte backwards, okay. Et yul, et yulor teke. And uh, it also contains Eddard Yehovrak. If this is all front words when I edit this video, then I'm I'm gonna leave it in. It's kind of kind of amusing, frankly. Okay. Let's put some water in this. I'm not gonna film that because I'm getting low on battery. So I'm gonna put the water in this, I'll be right back. I lied, I do wanna show you one thing. It's grape, but it's blue. Powder's blue. It smells awesome. All right, let's, let's give her a shake. I'm making a mess today. Now I'm shaking Gatorade all over me. Good Lord. I think I was in preschool. Okay, let's shake that out. All right. 
Probably needs more of a shaking than that, but it's dripping on me. I'm getting really annoyed with the food drippage. That is surprisingly bland. Maybe I didn't shake it enough. It's like really bland Gatorade. Well, that's what it was. Powder didn't get shaken up enough. That's better. <laughs> this is really, I feel so much better now that I've eaten. I'm gonna go, I was gonna head back to the car, but I think I'm gonna go further up the trail after this. Oh, so good, so good. Okay. I'm gonna stop stuffing my face in front of you now. I'll film again when we get back on the trip. Unless something weird happens. Okay, we're all cleaned up. Got the pack ready to go. No garbage. My pants are mostly dry, <laughs> mostly from Gatorade, and some uh, buffalo wing sauce. Go in your kennel, Bob Jr. Can't zip and film. All right. Okay, guys. Let's get out of this shady alcove and back onto the trail. See what's up this canyon. Maybe it'll be even more rewarding than it already has been. I love that I don't know anything about this and that I can share it with you. But I do like to hear from people who do know about this. So if you have some interesting trivia about Strong's Canyon, I would appreciate comments below. Say goodbye to our little friend. I had to cross down there, so. That's where we're going back. It's definitely spring runoff season. Here's the trail that I just came up. Right there, this is the trail. And then it continues up this. <laughs> the actual river's over there. That's all spring runoff. Well guys, I have two problems. One is, the further up you go, the rockier, wetter, and muddier it gets. And two is, my battery's almost dead. And I didn't bring a spare. So I'm heading back to the car now. There's just no reason to go up there in that mess. Maybe I'll try again when it's not runoff season. Thanks for joining me for another hike, another adventure. I hope you enjoyed it, coming along with me. I sure appreciate you watching. I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe if you're new here. Like the video if you like it. Thumbs down if you know. Thanks for joining me, guys. Remember to get off the couch, get outside, and have some fun. The views are spectacular. And if you can't get out, Come with me. I could use the company. See you in the next video, guys.
this on my way back through this chain link fence. There's another one right down there. Completely buried. Almost. Wow, can't get to it though. It's behind this fence.